Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Lessons. Welcome back to another video. I hope this video finds you well. And here we have another creed on a budget video. I know in the previous video we talked about Dossier's inspiration of Green Irish Tweed. And in this episode, we're gonna be talking about their inspiration of Silver Mountain Water, which I think is the most abstract fragrance released by Creed. And this fragrance is called Musky Green Tea. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my review of Musky Green Tea by Dossier, and I tell you what I get from this fragrance, what it smells like, what notes stand out, how long it lasts, and how close I think it is to the original. I do wanna mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like reviews, top tens, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Also remember to enable all notifications by clicking on the bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. Now, in the case of this fragrance, this is 18% concentration in terms of the oils in here, and this is their impression of of Silver Mountain Water. Now, Dossier does this thing where with every purchase, you also receive a sample of the fragrance and you can wear the entire sample if for whatever reason you are not satisfied with your purchase or if you wore the sample and you just, you're not crazy about it, you can refund the fragrance no questions asked, you'll get a free refund. And so I actually do like their refund policy. I like that they don't give you a hassle when it comes to wanting to return a fragrance if you just don't like it, if it doesn't cater to your personal taste, or if for some reason it didn't do well on your skin, no questions asked. But here we have musky green tea. And of course, Silver Mountain Water, for those of you who don't know, is a tea-based fragrance. But there's also a bit of citrus in here, neroli if I'm not mistaken, black currant according to the note breakdown on this card that comes on the inside of the box it says green tea bergamot and mandarin in the top pedigree neroli and black currant in the heart and then in the base you have musk sandalwood and orris this is definitely a clean professional bright and refreshing type of a fragrance that I think would work really, really well in an office scenario. So I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance. Let's start things off with the presentation. Now, right in the opening of this fragrance, of course, the first thing you're gonna think about is Silver Mountain Water. That olfactive mnemonic connection is established right away. If you've sampled the original, this is irrevocably going to remind you of the original. And I think that that's a testament to the accuracy of the cloning, right? And so in terms of recreating Silver Mountain Water, they got it pretty darn close with this one. Now, of course, I know there are other companies based out of the United Arab Emirates that have sort of produced their own version of Silver Mountain Water. And I do own a few of them. And then there are some like Banana Republic, they released a fragrance that comes close to it, but not entirely close. Well, I think here we have an expression that I was trying to bring the cloning as clo closely as possible to Silver Mountain Water. And so they didn't wanna create an element of uniqueness to it, but they wanted to replicate it to the best of their ability, and that they did. And so right away, it does remind me of Silver Mountain Water. And I would venture to say that it came about 95% close. And so if you're looking for an inexpensive alternative, to Silver Mountain Water, the original is actually, what, $450 for a 100 ml bottle. And so it goes without saying that Creed fragrances are a high luxury good, very, very expensive. And so here you have an inexpensive alternative to a very expensive fragrance. So it opens up with the citrus, you get a little bit of that neroli, but you get that smooth, musky, and tea vibe in addition to the black currant. Now, black currant slash cassis can also come across smelling rather musky. And that's definitely the vibe that I get from this one. Clean, fresh, citrusy, aromatic, and musky. And then of course, as some secondary notes, we also have sandalwood and orris. The orris I can kind of sense in here providing to the cleanliness of the blend. In terms of the sandalwood, in my experience, sandalwood has always been this creamy, sweet ingredient. There's nothing sweet about this fragrance. Even in the case of like an original Santal, 
I would say, okay, that's a little sweet. Royal Oud, there's an ambery touch in the base that can be perceived to be a little sweet. The All the times that I've smelled this one and that I've worn this one, including the original, I've never really perceived anything sweet about it. So I definitely wouldn't use sweet as an adjective to describe this fragrance, but it's very clean, very refined, very polished, very elegant and professional smelling. And like I said, I think for a gentleman, this would work really, really well in an office environment. And the same thing can be said about their version of Green Irish Tweed. And I think Creed is that type of brand. You know, I think when it comes to Silver Mountain Water, GIT, AKA Green Irish Tweed, Aventus, and many other fragrances, including Royal Mayfair, and um, even some of the fragrances from the Aqua Originale collection, they just smell very clean, very elegant, very professional, even Tabarome, right? And so there are very few fragrances where, what I, where I would say, this is for a very limited scenario. I think most of the fragrances are very accessible, very easygoing, and this one is no exception. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, well, I certainly don't find this to be unique, given the fact that it is a clone of a more popular fragrance, but the overall smell is very appealing. I think it's very easy to get along with, and it has that type of DNA that I think is compliment worthy, and I can see people sharing a few good words about your scent when they're around you and they can smell it off of you. So definitely a compliment worthy DNA. Longevity is about eight hours on my skin. The projection was really good for the first hour and a half. It didn't start to sit closer to the skin until about that five and a half to six hour mark. In terms of the versatility, I think this one leans a little bit traditionally masculine, but I personally find this to be unisex. I think ingredients like neroli, tea, and musk are fairly unisex ingredients. I can see this one working really well all year round, as long as you're wearing it in a climate controlled environment. But on account of the citrus and the tea, I can see somebody really enjoying this one in the hotter weather. But of course, as a really inexpensive alternative to Silver Mountain Water, I can see a lot of people enjoying this one all year round because it's not too often that we have the luxury or the opportunity to enjoy some of our really really expensive fragrances so I see there is a market for people who wish to opt for something that is on the inexpensive side while also still smelling really really close to the expensive counterpart in terms of the versatility, I spoke about seasons, occasions I think this one gives off a casual vibe but I think it can be worn dressed up as well and lastly, in terms of the presentation, very simplistic, very minimalist. So my final verdict on this fragrance is if you are a fan of Silver Mountain Water and you want an inexpensive alternative, something that smells about 95% similar, but something that's also a really good performer, both in terms of longevity and projection, please check this one out. I think it's gonna be to your liking. I'm enjoying this one, and I definitely see myself wearing this one to work quite a bit because it does give off that professional vibe. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching my review of this fragrance by Dossier. If you own or have tried this fragrance or the original, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to support this channel by subscribing to it. Make sure to enable all notifications by clicking on the bell and give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you soon.